What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Chuck McGruff, Coach McGruff, whatever you want to call me. Welcome back to a, another episode of the Firm and Rebuild Dynasty. This week, we're going up against USA in week 11 after taking a loss to ULM. Man, by a few points, man, it went all the way down to the wire. you seen how it started off. Pretty slow for our guys. My boy Woodruff, the starting quarterback, had a rough first half. We had a bad three interceptions, guy. We haven't seen anything from him this year similar to that bad of a play, a play as he was doing. So we had to put Hannon Reese in there and let him do his thing, man. He was able to come in and get a couple touchdowns immediately and brought us back into it. We took the lead in the, late in the fourth quarter, but the defense, you know, were tired from the first half and couldn't hold up for one more drive, but we lost it. Our first Sun Belt game we lost this year, so we're sitting at 6-2, and two. and this week we're going up against another conference foe. Let's check them out. All right, so you see USA right there. Only lost two games in the conference, one, two. They got us beat across the board over our ratings, but as you've seen this year, it doesn't matter. They got uh, three guys coming in this year um, for this week uh, visits. B. Bray, a wide receiver from Gardendale, Alabama, and another wide receiver from Marysville, Ohio. So they're trying to fill up that wide receiver spot. Maybe they got some older guys at receiver right now, some veteran guys that's going to you know, be leaving soon. So they're going to try to plug those holes. So we're beating them by three spots. Our points per game, 29, almost top 50. And the total offense, we're doing pretty Okay, it's almost similar, just a few steps ahead of them. And our pass offense, a couple steps ahead of them too. So they're running the ball, more run heavy, kind of balanced just like we are. We look similar in, you know, stats. But defensively, man, check these guys out. They got the number seven defense in the nation, maybe because they only played six games. But, man, they are stuffing the run, and they're slowing down the pass, man. But I believe we're going to, you know, be able to step in and make something happen. So we're going to be on the road this game. So it's going to be a lot of crowd noise and everything else. So let's go over to the schedule. South Alabama lost to Nebraska 17-45, which we understand that's what's supposed to happen. But LCS, they were supposed to handle those guys, and they did. They beat Georgia State, and they should have beat them by 10 points. So Georgia State wasn't pretty good this year. We blew them out, and they beat ULM. Surprisingly, so you know these guys right here are sitting at a you know uh, uh, interesting point this year. So they lost to Texas State by two points. What they got beat down by Ark State, bro. But they coming up against us, and they got uh after this game they're gonna have two games on the road, two games at home. They gotta win a, a three more games or four more games in the Sun Belt to become bowl eligible, unless you got one of the top, you know, one of the top records in the Sun Belt. So, and our team, as you can see, man, we took that loss by three points last week. It kind of hurt us. Another loss. We were on a six-game winning streak. Wasn't able to get anything going that game of early, but we came on as late. It was not enough time for us to, you know, handle that. But we shut those guys out, I believe, to only seven points in the second half. But those seven points came late in the fourth quarter to cap off the victory. As you can see, their quarterback play is not that great. Uh, below 50% complete. Completion on um, percentage, five touchdowns, seven interceptions. So three for 13 last game. I know he probably been benched. So D Foster coming in, he's doing his best, running the ball, 93 yards per game, giving them. That's the workhorse it looks like. And the wide receiver, um, Daly Jr., he getting 83 yards per game. He's probably the top receiver in number one target. So as you can see, my boy Hannon, uh, Hannon had to step in last game to help Woodruff. Woodruff threw three interceptions. In only eight attempts. That was a very bad game. So you see his touchdown to interception ratio is even. So he got to, you know, step it up this game to get something going. I believe he's going to redeem himself this week. And look at the boy Skogan. He went for 160 yards on 26 carries, two touchdowns. He had probably his career game last week. Man, 162 attempts, 819. He may become our first ever thousand-yard rusher. And I believe he is because we have four games left on the schedule. And he only needs a... 181 yards to, you know, close that 1,000-yard mark. And I believe he's going to do it. And nine touchdowns, he may be the best back in the conference this year. Slowly but surely, he's creeping up on the 1,000 yards. And, man, can you believe it? I believe he's a dark horse in the SEC. I say SEC, but I mean <laughs> the SBC, the Sun Belt Conference, baby. And I believe he might be up for some offensive awards, man. And you know you got to worry about that quarterback from 
Georgia Southern, he's balling. Him and Clay Helton out there is handling business. So you can see Ryder, the leading tackler, Anderson, big interception last game. Um, and Curtis, four touchdowns, four sacks. So it's going to help us. And Brown, our rookie, I mean, freshman uh, tight end, 25 receptions, 438 yards, um, 17.5 average, four TDs, man. And hey, we're ready to get into it. But we're going to check out our recruiting right here. And we're going to. Look at our signees, what we got on the board already. So our signees, as of yet, we got the 95th recruiting class starting out right here in week 11. Um, you see our top signee so far is the quarterback, Pete Givens. He's um looking like he he's going to be battling for a position after next year because, you know, Woodruff is in his junior year and um, Hannon and Reese is in his senior year going on to the NFL, man. And I'm going to export these draft classes this year onto Madden 25. And, you know, I may start a new series called, you know, Coach, the products of Coach McGruff in the NFL or whatever and just start drafting a bunch of uh, p players from – the Furman team, so we can, you know, further along these careers, man. I had to cop Madden 25 again to so I could do this. And also, I'm doing this right here. It's going to be a, a long, you know, these players going to be in and out of the of the college in four years, something three years as we get better. And, man, we want to further their careers. We don't want to just drop them by the wayside and be like, hey, they're over, their career is over. We want to see these guys in the NFL. And our second best signee was C. Anderson, a 5'9 wide receiver, man. You need a slot receiver about that small, you know, someone in the dark across the field, 175 pounds. So he got to be quick. He'll be able to, you know, make some, makes a lot of noise in the middle. And G. Tremblay, the middle linebacker, man, top three, boy, we're going to be pretty good. So I like this draft class as of, not draft class, but recruiting class as of yet. It looked like we're going to be making a lot of scribes to the, you know, to improvement in the future. And I like to see how these guys get in. But take a look out of this guy, Jay Sanchez. 6'5", defensive tackle, 251 pounds. Whew. Hot dog. I don't think I ever got a D-tackle that big before, man. So what we about to do now, man, is getting to... This week's game against USA, and man, it's about to be a great one, man. And I appreciate you guys for staying along for the ride, and you know what we about to do, baby. We about to get into this game, and we're going to turn it up from here, baby. We got to recover from this loss of last week, and let's go. We in here. Hey, guys, we are here, baby. We here against Alabama, baby. South Alabama at that, man. Check out. They said we getting defensive, baby. Some big, Some great defenses this week. Look at us, man. Almost similar. Look at the sacks, the average sacks, the average interceptions. And, man, 186 pass yards allowed. Man, we're not trying to give up that many yards this game. So check out these guys' interests. You know, they got one of the best interests in NCAA, man. I like the way they brought the fire extinguishers out, you know, to give them that little cheap smoke. They don't have the pyrotechnics, whatever you call it, <laughs> to get the, you know, smoke and the uh, sparks going for them. But we in here, and we ready to get it down with these guys here and turn it up, my guys. And you already know what time it is. In cover two, and we maybe, I thought we had it, but gosh. Quarterback dodged that sack and launched it, and he was double covered, but they weren't able to do anything about it. He roasted both of them. <laughs> so our back's against the wall here early. A blown coverage. And we got to get it going, baby. All right, so. Big tackle there from the safety. Save us a touchdown. Let's see if we can hold these guys to three points. If we let them score a touchdown here early, this crowd is about to erupt, even though it's half full. Okay, big tackle, Mackie. That's how you do it, baby. Let's go. All right, so we here, third down and goal. Able to get that big tackle on Sterling Fisher. Nothing there. I think that's a successful red zone trip there to hold these guys at three points. Four here. We're going to go with this. All right. So can we get off our blocks? 
able to get off the blocks, but not able to grab that running pack. So we're going with another cover four here, man. It's second and six. Dude, can we get this offense off the field? Oh, man. He got wide open field there. And, man, it looked like he's off to the races. Touchdown from the quarterback, Alden Clark, man. All right, so we're going to do a comeback. Post probably should have ran a re option there, but maybe Snellis. Come on, baby, give us something. Give us something. Oh, almost an interception. Thought I had my boy Dangus there. Probably should have went over top with it. So we're gonna run these quick slants here. Maybe roll out. Oh, got my boy Brown. Oh, too far out of bounds, man. You got to be ready to look up field. So we're going to run these slants. Maybe Dangus across the middle. No Dangus, but my boy Tutton's up. Oh, the ball jarred loose there. Tutton's had it in his hands. We've seen him. Nice pass. But you got to hold on to those, young fella. I know that was a hard hit, but we got to hold on to it. A little bit of offense going in the first quarter, but not enough. They double our offensive output. But here in the second quarter, we able to, you know, stick with these guys so far, man. We can't allow any more scores because we got to put some points on the board here first. Screenplay, I can see it from the beginning. Can we get down on them? Good tackle from the big DNs. My boy Kerry Mason able to get on to it. Look at him high stepping it, big boy. So we're gonna run this overload three here. The defense is kind of getting into it, you know, feeling their way. Couple slants up front. Watch the quarterback. Oh, he shook my boy. And he break another tackle. And gets out there, man. He shook my boy and break a tackle. Can you believe that? Look at it. Uh, send my boy in the dirt. So running cover three, Cloud, man. Can we get a turnover or a big stop here? We there, but the quarterback able to make a nice read there and get 12 yards. He already got 102 yards on us here in the first half. Smart pass by the quarterback. Defense is obviously tired. You can see a lot of backup guys out there. You know. Oh, man. Good D there for my boy, Mentor. Able to get his hands in the way of that one. So, look at 30 17. Looks like we can get another stop here. It will be a field goal. We've, this year, we've been pretty good in the red zone from holding teams from getting touchdowns. And this right here looks like it's going to be a maybe 40-yard field goal. Something close to it. So, really, 44 yards? I believe he maybe can miss this one. A little, ooh, and he knocks that one in. I thought it was going to be. 
get the offense started, baby. Let's go. So, got my boy Bush back here. Bush able to get five yards. Could have made it a little bit more. We're going to hit the power O here. Skogan is back in there. Come on, Skog. Let's get something going, baby. Oh, and he found the edge. And, oh, man, too much speed for him. The quarterback, running back, I mean, the cornerback able to get his hands on him. So we're going to run this wide cross here. Maybe I get my boy Dangus over top. I think he maybe can get something going here. And I see Dangus wide open. Let's go, baby. Big touchdown there. 45 yards. My boy Woodrum able to get another. That's his ninth score of the season. He slain that thing all the way out there and grabbed it. Let's go. We're going to put four down linemen up front this time. To make up for the linebackers. And hopefully we can get some pressure on this defensive play here. My boy Mackey able to find something. Big tackle. That's what I'm talking about. Big fumble. And come on, Ryder. That's what I'm talking about. Ryder is always in the right spot at the right time. Big hit. Look at the freshman corner. Able to lay lumber on him. Uh, jaw that ball loose. Big time hit. And let's go get it, baby. That's what we needed just now. That's exactly what you need. All right. There we go. All right. So we're going with the wide cross again. Maybe Dangus. Can find his way against the coverage one more time. What do we got? Think we can do it? Yeah, Dangus, maybe. He's bigger than him. And can you go up and get it? No. Under through him. Should have put a little bit more air under it. Are right, we going with the Hail Mary here. Hopefully. Watch the pass rush up front. It could get a little messy. Can anybody go get it? Nobody able to grab it. Seven for 22 in the first half, Woodard is. He's just been tossing it up there and hoping somebody go get it. And, man, he had some success. But, hey, we got some big boys at wide out. We trying to, you know, take advantage of them. So, going into the half, we only down by six points. And they're going to get it back. First. And we're going to try to pull away here in the second half. No turnovers in the first half. A couple near interceptions. But they were able to fumble. All right, so our defense smells blood. We know they smell blood. And we got some headhunters up front. We got four down linemen here. Keep this quarterback in front of us. We should be good. I see Mason coming. Oh, another pick. Look at my boy. Ooh, why he was falling down. I told you we smelled blood. Look at him. Look at him. Ooh, wee. Look at Anderson. Two weeks, bro. Anderson said, keep playing with me. All right, so we're going to try to. Catch these guys slipping with the SE under. Maybe I can get my tight end over the top. Or maybe Snellis. I believe it's going to be my tight end. Can you go get it? Nope. Not able to. We're going to hit him with this mesh play. I should kick a field goal, but man, I believe we can score, man. Come on, Dangus, go get it. Oh! Could have been an easy three, man. Could have been an easy three. Man, Dangus is dropping them, man. You got to have the guts to go up there and get it. You can try to redeem ourselves here. We come with the play action here early. And maybe my boy Dangus got something. There we go. That's what we wanted from you, Dangus. We wanted you to be able to go up there and grab them things. You 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, whatever for a reason, baby. Like they brush you off. And you go up there and you go get it. Good way to lob that thing up there. Look at the size difference. And able to grab it and pull it down. All right. So we're going to hit this read play here. This is a read option. Took my boy Woodruff knocked that chill off of him. Let's see if we can get up around this corner. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> he ran him over. <laughs> Wasn't able to get anything. That was good. good defense by the... um.
cornerback or whoever that was. All right, so we're going to run these curls here. Tuttons, we need something from you, baby. I believe you're going to be out there on the island by yourself. See what you can get for us. No island for Tuttons, but my boy Dang is over here. Steady going to work. Y'all better get off him. He too strong. He over there manhandling number seven. Dang has got 100 yards, baby. Let's go. All right, so we're going to hit the stick play here. I'm going to try to hit Dangus off in the end zone, man. I believe he probably can get up. We're going to just toss it up there. We're going to lob it. Can you go get it? Oh, two on one. They they double covered him there. Should have thrown it more outwards to the to the back of the end zone. All right, so we're going to run these X curls here. Maybe my boy Nutter can get out there and get something. If not, we would have Brown. Nutter, I see you. Oh. That one hurt. That one hurt. <laughs> if any of them hurt, that one hurt, boy. How you drop a touchdown, man? Dang, Nutter. You supposed to grab them, man. You can't come into the game your first uh, target and drop it, and it's a touchdown. So we only down by three here. Defense has been stepping up to the plate. We missed out on a few touchdowns. Already this game. All right, so you see what the defense has been doing, man. Two turnovers in the last five drives for these guys, and they punted on every drive, man. The defense look to keep this intensity up, and we're looking to keep these guys off of the field. Come on. Ooh, big pick from Brown, and that's what we talking about. That's that play, that big-time playmaking ability that we're – that we won quarterback. It was going to lob it up there and was able to come down with it. Big time play. So we're going to hit him with a draw here. Maybe we can get a couple of, ooh, nine yards out of that one. Thought we could get a little more. Putting seven on the board here would be big for us. So Skogan coming out of the gun. Hopefully we can get this off tackle because this is exactly what we want. This first down and let's move it, baby. All right, so we're running the stick play. Dangus maybe in the end zone. What the DB was able to recover, man. <laughs> it's not going the way we want it. That stick play. So we're going to hit him with the counter weak. Hopefully we're going to send a defense. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot of room there, but seven yards, pretty good. Thought we had seven points. So going into the fourth quarter, man, a three-point game. And I believe we're going to go on top here with a touchdown. I'm looking to get my boy Kane out of the backfield. Hopefully it's successful. And no, oh, man. Probably should have kept moving with the quarterback. That was some good defense. So we want to hit them with the ISO week here. They're going to bring every man up front that they have. But I believe we can push... Get enough of a push. And it's a turnover on downs, man. <laughs> Could you believe it? A turnover on downs. His knees went down early, man. Can we get a big stop, babies? Another offsides, yo. Trying to jump the snap. Another offsides. They're catching us off guard, man. It's first and five again. 153 left in this game, man. Are he able to get the first down there? Let's blitz. Right up the middle. So 
we don't care if they get the touchdown here. We just want the ball back, and we want to be able to make a stop, and they get the touchdown, and they go up 20 to 13 here late, man. So our second half and first half been kind of balanced. But we need a big play on this drive here. And who else but Dangus is out there to run the races. And hopefully he could get it. And yes, he's able to get seven more points. Six more points for us. <laughs> Big catch from Dangus. And man, he's having a career game. And he was out there wide open. Nice pass from Woodruff. Able to pull that thing down and go to the races, baby. We're going two man under. The defense, can we not allow a big play? We want to get their crowd crunk or the little bit of fans that we do have here. Oh, big sack for my boy Mentor. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> I got so many players on my team, man. I can't wait to see these boys in the NFL, man. These guys, these guys are pretty good, man. The pressure is there, and we able to sweep him up. It was a screen play, but too much pressure on the guy. If he would have caught that ball, he probably would have went crazy. So we got the ball back, man, with a minute left. Can we pull off the unthinkable? Can we do it? Ooh, they made my boy do a split. <laughs> Gosh. All right, so this is it. This is it. The final drive for us. Maybe I got my boy Dangus again. Dangus, do you want three scores, baby? Do you want three scores? Man, he fought for it. That was kind of scary, too. So let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to run these four verticals. Tuttons, maybe. Snellins. We do not know. Snellins, go get it. Oh, almost another interception. Four deflections for Dan Bell. I know he's mad that he hasn't caught an interception all game. So we're going to run this slip screen here. Ooh, unlook. We got the wrong running back back there, but maybe Bush is in here for a reason. And he is in here for a reason. And Bush goes to the end zone and scores the game-winning touchdown. We believe it's the game-winning touchdown. We said the wrong running back, but he was in there for a reason. I never see him get light like that. The agility he made, the cornerback miss, and he was off to the races. Didn't seem like anybody else was going to catch him. He hit that second gear, bro. He is not fast immediately, but once he got out to the scribe, I never see the kid burst like that. Big touchdown right there. Big pass from the quarterback. And great play calling from the office coordinator. So with four, 39 seconds left, it's still enough time for them to take a few shots and, you know, get this thing back knotted up. So what we need to do as a defense is keep everything in front of us. So we're running cover four. All right, so he launches that one. He felt the pressure early. He got rid of it. Is this the year that Furman puts, you know, goes over, you know, the top and is able to, you know, make this Sunbelt Conference theirs? Or is this a fluke season? What do you guys think? So, nice run from the tight end. Nice way to catch that and get some yards. What y'all guys think? Y'all think it's a fluke season, man, or what? Man, I think it was just hard work, man. I believe.
Coach McGraw finally got a group of kids he can build his program around. Also with a bunch of added transfers, we were able to, you know, make some noise, man. A game like this a few years ago would have been out of reach or, you know, it would have been... It would have been ugly, way ugly. Wouldn't be no coming back. But, man, this defense here is not the best defense in the country. But, hey, when it's time to, to put your hands in the dirt and go to work and get this team back into it, this defense can do it. So, fourth down and 13, they running the ball. They try to get a draw play. What is wrong with this team? The offense coordinator must be... I don't know. Crazy. All right. So they were able to get the first down on a lucky, lucky grab. It was a good catch, but, hey, he shouldn't have got all of those yards. So nine seconds left for these guys. I wonder if they're going to take a shot here. My boy Mackie is there. All right, so three seconds left. And this should be it, guys. We're going to run three man, man up, bro. We manning up. This should be it. The last shot they have to take. And we got the prevent formation in and can we grab an interception no but a deflection would do and that's it we won this game man came back it was a low scoring affair all the way up to the fourth quarter but a few late touchdowns and we were able to put this game out of reach and the player of the game is dangus with six receptions 184 yards and two touchdowns we knew he was having the game of his life or the game of his career in at Furman. He was just fighting and hurting, earning, I mean, fighting and asking for the ball to it was like, hey, give it to him. As you can see him, he find ways up under the coverage and able to take the top off for a couple big touchdowns and some big grabs, man. So, man, we appreciate you guys watching this video. And you already know, man, it's your boy, Coach McGruff, Chuck McGruff. You can call me either or. And it's a hundred I shoot, baby. And let's keep it moving in this season and hopefully get all the rest of the victories that are waiting on us. Let's go.